work now. The area boys for the overstock, they came here and scattered this polling units. We have about uh, 2,000 people. The, the election was just about, uh, about uh, one, one hour, one hour 30 minutes into the election. Then most, most, uh, mostly boys from the uh, bus stop, they came here, area boys, scattered the two polling units here. They came with them guns and bottles. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, the policemen here were unable to do anything because they were not having any, they were not having any, any, any firearms or any ammunition. They were just there looking at them. Even they also ran for their own their life. So you can see that this cooling unit has been scattered, uh -huh. and people now this is enfranchised from uh, casting their votes for their preferred candidate. You can see the other one you are looking down there is another police station where they started before coming to this side. You can now see all the papers, all the ballot boxes on the floor. They have destroyed everything. Destroyed the, the look at the box here. They destroyed the the ballot box. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the police that's supposed to be here. Uh -huh. They were to, to, to give us security, but they failed. Because they, they said that they are not having any arms and ammunition to control the situation. So it was a little unfortunate. I don't know when Nigeria will get it right. It's really unfortunate for this country. May God help us in the coming days.